It surprised me that uh, that she couldn't get in on my turf, and it surprised me that, that she couldn't get in more on her own turf. She just didn't find the right combination to come in on. I kept her guessing. All found a real high floater, then the next one was low, and then deep. So I wouldn't let her get set. That was my plan. We stuck to the game plan. You know, my concentration was bad today, and I've been concentrating really well, you know, in the last six months or so. And I sort of saw everything going on around the court today, which is very unusual for me. I think it proves a point, don't you? 55 year old, one foot in the grave, night and day difference. And uh, she's the best woman player of all time. 60 million people watching, biggest match of all time. Battle of the sexes. And <laughs> we all had plenty of time to get ready for it. And you saw what happened. I don't have to explain it to you. Right? No, I think it was the tension, the pressure, the biggest match ever played, the 60 million audience on television, all the press in the Valley, who, the way the thing has been built up over the last two or three months. She arrived here with the whole pressure of the women's world on her. Casals and that whole group had 30,000 to bet on her. I only hope they got accommodated. That's all I can tell you. Bobby, they tell me that you're quite a challenge to any man and quite a challenge to any woman. I just thought perhaps I could challenge you right here and now and play a little, see if I can give you some uh, activity just prior to taking on Billie Jean King. Well, Jerry, you look pretty tough to me, and uh, you're a strong man. I know you play all kinds of sports. If you're going to play me, you're going to have to suit up in a skirt and put a wig on or something, so I think I'm playing a gal. Otherwise, I might be frightened to play a man over I, I, I'll take a chance. I can't do that. I'm going to borrow. Karen, can I borrow your racket? You can borrow my racket only. Bobby, how tough is it going to be to beat Philly Jean King? Well, she's about the toughest of the gals, as you know, Jar. She had a fabulous Wimbledon. She won her fifth uh, singles title, and I was over there, and I scouted her. I watched her play every match, so I've got her uh, pretty well figured out from uh, how I think I should play her. Will she go to the net more than Margaret Court, rather than play the baseline game? She's going to try to get to the net all the time, but I have some ideas on how to keep her away from the net, or if she does come in, how it's going to be a losing tactic for her, because because unless you come in on really good shots, why your opponent can hit them right at your feet or pass you or over her head. So I'm telling her right now, she's not going to know which of the three I'm going to do. Hit them short at her feet or pass her or over her head. And she's got to protect against all three of those tactics. And I don't think she can do it. How about stamina? Will that have a definite effect in the outcome? It might. As a matter of fact, she challenged me and said, let's play three out of five sets like the men play. And I think that would be wonderful. Bobby Ricks is here, he's our guest today. He promised me uh, to come to Yeah, I think we have two peas in a pod with Mr. Riggs and Billy. I think they uh, have much the same temperament, and I, I don't think the occasion will bother Billy at all. I think she'll thrive on it. Then there are those who wonder whether she'll go to the net more than Margaret Court. Well, I think, I think definitely Margaret made a strategical error there, and I think Billy will be uh, going into net much more. 
How about now the stamina factor? Suppose they go three out of five. Will that be a factor one way or the other? Are they playing three out of five? We don't know yet. Know well, I, I would think if it goes three out of five, I'd, I'd have to give Bobby a little edge, even though he is older than Billy, because he will be using more of the court than Billy is. I think Bobby will use every inch of the court, and, and Billy will need to be there, whereas uh, Bobby will probably probably be doing less running. So. Now, do you really think that she can beat Bobby Riggs? I do. <laughs> I'm one of these nuts that I, I just, I really believe that Billy has the game and the temperament to beat Bobby. Time he was a Wimbledon champion. In 1939, he's the only person ever won all the trouble. That's Bobby Riggs, the big male chairman. Yeah. 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 Right. right. Okay. Now when you see Sharon Sullivan okay, here. Okay, anytime you're ready. All right, keep it rolling, Harry. See, he can't hold the boss. <laughs>